What did she do to her face today? It's Suva Hydroliner's mommy, and we're talking all about him. What in the world are Suva Hydroliners? No, 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 not Carmen San Diego. Suva Hydroliners, that is what we're talking about today. Because I've been asked, because it's been requested, and because I got you. A wonderful Canadian brand called Suva Beauty, run by an amazing woman, has these little products that come in cute little pots called Hydroliners. You've probably seen me use these a bunch on my Instagram because they're amazing, they're quick, they're easy, and they're fun. Some of my favorites are the Neon Line. This is one of my ultimate favorites called Acid Trip. The camera is not doing it justice. It is acidic, it is bright, and it glows under UV light. Another great one is Luster Lilac, which is this guy here. Classic delicious is Mr. Grease, a black. Yep, good old black. The most amazing blue, blue bluish green that you'll ever see. This guy, Sea Nymph. Look at that beauty. Look at that beautiful color. Gorgeous. And a staple, I think everybody should have, Cherry Bomb, which is a, oh, just opaque, beautiful red. Okay, okay, I can't forget Scrunchy. Scrunchy is the hottest pink. The hottest pink. Barbie wishes. And basically what these guys are, are water-activated cake color, which means that they are dry when dry. So right now there's no water in there. I might get a tiny, tiny bit of pigment. Oh, hold on. There you go, tiny bit of pigment on the finger, but nothing really until I wet the product. And when I wet the product, it works similar to watercolor in that the more water I add, the lighter the color, the less water I add, the thicker the color, and the thicker the opacity of the application. Now, being water activated, the downside to these guys is that they're not waterproof. So even though they're not really gonna smudge throughout the day, if you put them anywhere where your eyes water, your lash line, bottom lash line, or even if you try your water line, they're going to break down and they're going to smear. But if you have relatively dry eyes where you're not watery all day and you stay away from that lash line, you're pretty good to go, especially if you work only along the top lash line where you're tears aren't going to defy gravity and fall upward. You can activate these with anything that's water or water-ish. So you can use either a setting spray, straight up water, or a mineral water spray. Those all work very well to activate these paints and to use them. The upside to these being activated by water is that they're not going to dry out in the pan because they are already dry and they're going to last longer because your cream products expire a lot sooner than either solid, dry, or powdered products. The amount of water, Fix Plus, mixing medium that I put into the mix is going to change the opacity of my product payoff once I swipe it on the skin. So I'm going to show you three different versions, but you can create different levels of opacity no matter what you mix into there. Here we have three, count them, three different versions. So we've got a very light version. This is a lot of Fix Plus and very little color. This is a medium application. This is probably equal parts pigment to liquid, and this is more of a paste consistency. This is very little liquid and a lot of pigment. And this goes across the board with all of the hydroliners. Now I have found that the matte hydroliners tend to have more of a payoff than the metallics, but then again, you can always play around with bases and with liquid ratios to get the payoff that you need. Now a common question for these as they are water activated, can you blend them? And the answer is yes, you can blend them, but you need to be quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to blend a color all over my eye while you guys are watching without editing out my blending activity. So I'm going to take this shade, Luster Lilac, which I showed you before. This is more of a metallic color and work my clean dry brush straight into that mix. All right, so now that I have picked up the product on my brush, I'm going to apply straight to my lid and start blending that out. taking a dry, clean brush and buffing out those edges. Pat 
patting on some more of that pigment. And blending away. So you'll see I do have a full application of color straight to the lid. The edges are blurred out. It might be a little bit easier for me to blend this particular shade out because it does have that shimmer, but I'll try it on the other side with a matte color so you can see that as well. Now taking the shade Bubblegum on the other eye, spritzing the product, dipping a brush in, testing it out on the back of my hand, looks good, and same application. So I'm stamping it on first, bringing it up, Buffing out the edges with a dry, clean brush. And I do have to work a little more quickly than usual to blend these suckers out. Stamping it on again, on that center. One more thing to keep in mind when working with these types of colors is that since it is water activated, if you put anything that is wet on top of it, it'll start breaking it down. So that includes the brush that already has the color. So be careful and work gently to get the color where you want it. There you have it, two eyes, one with matte, one with metallic, blended onto the eye, both water activated paints. For liner, I want my color very opaque, so I've made a paste and I'm going to apply it straight onto the brush. Now for this look, I'm going to do a graphic liner, which is not a wing, it's going to be more of a rectangle, just to demonstrate. And doing a look like this with hooded eyes is not the easiest, because when I open my eyes it looks a mess, but I want it to be visible and clean with my eyes open, so it's a sacrifice I must make. All right, so that is the liner with another matte color, and I can work it pretty close in that lash line because my eyes don't really tend to water that much. So I know the product will be safe and it's not going to bleed or smear. And that shape is done. Now for the other eye, I'm just going to take Cherry Bomb, which is that red that I showed you, and I'm going to mix that in and create more of a paste so I get an opaque look. And this is going to be just a traditional baby wing. So taking that product straight towards that outer corner and working it in. You can see that this is basically any winged eyeliner look. This is not very advanced or extra technical just because it's a hydro liner. You just activate it with water. That's, that's the only difference really. So now that my wing is done and on the eye, if I were to need any type of correction to the shape, I could just correct it with water. So I just wet the top of my Q-tip. I'm going to flatten it out a bit because it's not exactly the shape that I want for a Q-tip. And I can just run that along the edge of that cherry and correct that shape very easily without having to use makeup remover. It's just water because these are water activated. So it'll start breaking down the product quickly and I can clean it up like a breeze. And that's basically it guys. Hydro liners are, they're easy and they're quick and they're great. They're not gonna dry out on you. They're not gonna spill in your kit or in your drawer. The packaging is lightweight and efficient and you get to support a small but growing company. For those of you out there that enjoy color and enjoy playing with graphic lines and shapes, this is definitely a product to check out. I will list below the shades that I mentioned today and also put the website down there so you can check it out. This video isn't sponsored, but I love Suva 
and I've been asked about Suva, so I'm talking about Suva. Yes, I have gotten these products for free, and yes, I have worked for the brand, but this video is coming from my heart, not from a paycheck. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this was informative. I hope this answered some of your questions about Suva Hydroliners, and I look forward to making more videos for you guys. Take care. Bye.